In the vast river of Chinese history, Qin Shi Huang conquered many opponents and achieved the unification of the Chinese nation, establishing the first unified feudal dynasty in China. In 210 BC, at the age of 49, Qin Shi Huang passed away in the sand dunes during his eastern tour. Although more than 2,000 years have passed, Qin Shi Huang has left us with a precious cultural heritage, the mausoleum of the first Qin emperor in Xi'an, Shangxi, China. The Shangxi Qin Shi Huang Mausoleum and Terracotta Warriors and Horses is one of the seven wonders of the world. It is located in the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, 34.7 meters underground. Judging from the scale and grandeur of the terracotta warriors and horses, Qin's army at that time was indeed a powerful fighting force. Ying Zheng, relying on his huge army, completed the great feat of unifying the Six Kingdoms. In the mausoleum of the terracotta warriors and horses, the builders constructed a poisonous river of mercury as a means of protection. The bronze weapons, chariots, and tens of thousands of warriors remain well preserved to this day, making it one of the most significant discoveries in the history of archaeology. The discovery of the terracotta army of the first emperor of Qin dates back to 1974, when farmers in the village of Xiaoha were digging a well in the south of the village, and the well opening happened to be in the southeast corner of pit number one. At that time, they found terracotta warrior head sculptures that were suspected to be burial objects. Soon after, the Shangxi Provincial Archaeological Team was established and entered the site of the Qin terracotta warrior pits for excavation. As the work scope expanded, the Terracotta Army Museum gradually emerged in front of the world. In the Qin Shi Huang Terracotta Army Museum, there are 2,000 terracotta warriors, each with different postures and facial features, holding various sharp-edged weapons in their hands, and their appearance is still bright and colorful. Of the four pits that make up the underground army, three have been excavated. Each pottery figure is tall, about 1.8 meters. The first pit is the largest, about the size of two football fields, with chariots and infantry on display. There are over 6,000 infantry and 50 chariots. The second pit is only half the size of the first pit, but it contains the largest number of terracotta soldiers, including chariots, infantry, cavalry, and crossbowmen. The third pit is the smallest, containing only 68 terracotta soldiers, one chariot with four horses, and 34 weapons. All soldiers in each pit face east. According to historical records, during the reign of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the Qin state constantly expanded eastward and eventually achieved unification. The resolute eastward direction of the soldiers' gaze in the Terracotta army implies Qin's ambition to dominate the Eastern Kingdoms and unify the world. The value of the mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang is estimated to be as high as 50 billion US dollars. Just the 100 chariots, 400 horses, and over 100,000 weapons alone are worth 36 billion US dollars. When combined with other facilities and labor, the value may far exceed this estimate. It is truly a great wonder on earth to construct such a grand tomb 35 meters underground. The intricately designed traps such as the flowing Mercury River and hidden arrows are full of mystery and unimaginable. The gold, silver, and jewelry buried inside are precious and rare. It can be said that the Qin Shi Huang Mausoleum is a treasure trove that encompasses the sun, moon, and stars. The construction of Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum involved the labor of hundreds of thousands of people over a period of 38 years and spanned across five different burial sites in nine different sectors. Such a complex tomb, even by today's standards, would cost at least tens of millions of dollars, if not more, 
to construct. This is a testament to the economic strength of the Qin dynasty at that time, which, as a militarized society based on agriculture, was also able to accumulate wealth and enhance its national power.